Hi, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to edit the appearance of chord symbols in Dorico, the notation software from Steinberg. Inputting chord symbols in Dorico is just the beginning of the story. Dorico supports a multitude of different appearance options, and you can control every aspect of the visual design and layout of your chords. Let's open the engraving options by pressing the key command Control shift e That's Command-Shift-E on Mac. Here we can start setting our preferences for the way each type of chord is displayed in Dorico. We start with the chord root, which can be expressed in different ways, even scale degree numbers relative to the tonic, and it's easy to configure the position and size of root note accidentals. There are numerous options for how to display the chord quality. The options continue through all aspects of chord symbols, including intervals, alterations, altered bass notes, and polychords. All of these variants have come about over decades of use and are generally used together in sets of options that complement each other. To accommodate these sets, Dorico ships with a number of presets for chord symbols that set multiple options at once to replicate some of the most popular conventions used by musicians. Another powerful aspect of Dorico's chord symbols feature is the ability to quickly change the font used for chord symbols. This is done in the same way that any fonts for music items are modified. Switch to engrave mode, open the engrave menu and choose font styles. From the pop-up control, choose chord symbols font. Enable the font family control by pressing its switch, then choose another font. You can also modify font properties such as style and size. Pressing OK applies the change. Because I have made the size of the font bigger, I am going to need to also increase the size of the chord symbol's music text font, so that characters such as accidentals are at a matching size. If I had another Smoothful compliant music font installed, I could select it here. Please be sure to check out my video that shows you how to input chord symbols in Dorico, either by using your computer keyboard or a MIDI keyboard. If you found this video helpful, please click on the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it, and subscribe to our Dorico channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.